Hello, in this OpenGL tutorial, we will cover how to set up Soil, which is a open source image loader for your project on Windows using Visual Studio. So this is just gonna be the setup process of how to just build Soil and just set it up. The actual code for using Soil in texturing, simple 2D planes, 3D objects, and even 3D models is covered in separate videos. So check those videos out. They are all done on a Mac. Any setup part will be slightly different and there will be separate videos such as this one for the setup process, but the actual code itself is the same. So to set up Soil, the first thing is you need to download Soil and something called pre-make. So open up your web browser and I'm just going to get rid of that. And what we want to do is just type in to Google Soil 2. Because the original Soil library is actually very old. Hasn't been updated for a very long time. So if you go to this Spartan J Soil 2 Bitbucket link. And the Soil 2 is a fork of the original Simple OpenGL image library by Jonathan Dummer and the actual usage of it so a particular function call for example is exactly the same so if you've got code using the first soil it will work with this as well once you've got this set up so go to the downloads page just download the repository i've already got it downloaded so i'm just going to skip over this step so once you've downloaded that just google pre-make there will be links in the description to soil and pre-make as well and just go to the premake.github.io go to download i would recommend it recommend downloading the latest stable branch unless you specifically need a feature from like a newer let's say alpha branch so just download 4.4 and once you've got that what we can do is actually use it so i've got a folder called soil and i've got a project right here and this project has the code from the texturing video already in there so if i open up my project and just let it load up now if i go to main.cpp as you can see we're trying to use soil files which you can't find because we haven't placed them in our project yet and we are using soil methods as well like soil load image and soil free image data so we'll be covering how to include all of that good stuff first of all go to where you've downloaded your files extract both of them using something like winrar 7-zip and let's extract that like so go to the pre-make directory copy and paste this exe into the soil folder where you have all of these folders for and files like the pre-make 4.lua paste that here now open up command prompt now in here you want to change directory to this location right here this happens to be on my c drive so i can just simply do cd drag and drop this click enter but if you have a folder that is on a different drive to the c drive you can't simply so for example i know this directory here where all my downloads go to is on the d drive you can't simply put cd and if i try and go to this games directory it doesn't work what you have to do is first tell it to change to the D drive. To do that, just put the actual letter, which happens to be D in this exa example, type colon and click enter. And then that changes to the D drive. And if there has been a previous chain directory command run for that particular drive, it will run that as well. But if let's say, for example, I did CD now, to this directory that works a okay but again because i've changed the drive i can't simply put cd this folder because it's on a different drive so i have to put c colon and as you can see that is fine that's not related to the soil part but that's just a little 
tip in case you're having issues changing directories from different drives because I know a lot of people like to organize their files and folders which rightfully so that's a good thing to do into different drives so once you've changed directory to here you've copied and pasted the premake 4.exe or whatever version you're using over here just type in premake 4.exe or whatever the executable is called followed by vs 2012 so this is just visual studio 2012 if you're using like an older version like 2010 you can use the 2010 command it doesn't have a command for newer visual studios but i'm actually using 2015 and when you use 2015 it does actually prompt you to upgrade some of the properties so don't worry about that if you're using a slightly newer version click enter this generates our Visual Studio project. So go to the make file folder, Windows, and then you'll get a soil2.sln folder. Open that. And once that has opened, you might get something like this upgrade the compiler and libraries. Just click OK. The only one we're concerned with is soil2 static lib. Right click that, click build, and this will build our project. You can close this down now and if you go back there'll be some more folders generated the one we're interested in is the lib folder within there there's a windows folder and within there there is a dot lib file which is what we need so copy that go to your actual OpenGL project what i like to do is create a folder somewhere here where the dot sln folder file is and i like to call it external libraries so this way we're going to be using relative linking to link our soil library if you want to use absolute linking within visual studio to link it if you don't know the difference just use the relative linking process if you do know the difference you can use either one either one is fine so within here i'm going to create a folder called soil2 and within there, create a folder called lib, paste this like so. And now what we need to do is go back to the soil folder and copy this soil to within source. And this contains all of the code which we can access in our project. So copy that, go to our OpenGL project. You can put it in the external libraries and um, for example, just create a folder here called include, and that's a very common standard. Because in the other OpenGL tutorials in this series, I actually just put it here and I didn't link it via Visual Studio as some sort of library. I'm just gonna place it here within a folder called Soil2, but you can rename these whatever you want and you can link it as a library via the external library folder or just link it like this using quotation marks in your code when you do the hash include again i'm just using this method because this is the method i use for the rest of the tutorials in this series but if you need any help setting it up slightly differently feel free to reach out on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk so once you've got all of this here the only one last thing to do is link up this soil2-debug.lib so to do that open up your visual studio project right click the project go to properties go to linker general and i've just got it set for debug but just make sure if you are interested in the release version as well that you set up the release version the same way and if i just go to the drop down click edit and i already have it here so i'll get rid of this and i'll show you exactly what needs to be done so you need to click the new button type in dollar solution dir you could click the three dots and navigate to it but that will link it absolutely again if you know the difference and you 
explicitly want to link it absolutely that's fine but the relative linking using the dollar solution dir command this actually refers to this dot sln file so wherever we put our project whether it's on this computer on a different computer on a different drive in a different folder it will always refer to this and you'll get this directory essentially so if we put forward slash external libraries so what this is doing is referring to this the dollar solution dir is going into external libraries now we want to go into soil2 then lib so soil2 for slash lib click ok now we just need to link it into the input so click edit i actually already have it here but the way you would do it just on a new line, put soil2-debug.lib. Make sure this is named the same thing as the file here. So soil2-debug.lib, click OK, apply, click OK again. And now if we scroll up, this error should disappear. Let's just put hash include to make sure we've linked it correctly. As you can see, the soil2 folder is there and we can access the files. The only one you really should be accessing is soil2.h and that covers everything else that you require. Like I said, if you are interested in re relative linking for the file, the actual code files as well, so something like using angle brackets, you can do that as well. If you need some help, feel free to reach out. This will disappear on positive once I actually build it. And if I scroll down, I'm positive this will disappear as well. So if I run this now, okay, we've got an error. Let's see what the error is regarding. So it is saying that these are undefined and it's saying soil2, soil h not found. So let's make sure we have the correct structure. So if we go back to our Visual Studio folder, so we got soil2 which is what it's named in there. Within there, soil2, and we got soil2.h. So that's weird. Let me just type it out again. So hash include soil2 ah. That was the problem. I had it within another soil2 directory. So if I were to actually cut this into actually what I need to do within here if I cut all of these files into here delete this now and if I were to undo everything back to the way it was and if I run it now this should be a-okay yep that's running fantastic we got our texture showing like I said this video isn't about showing you how to actually use the code for soil we've got a separate video covering that and in other videos as well, we use soil for stuff like applying textures to 3D objects, to loading in models and using multiple textures on the model as well. So this has just been a very simple tutorial on setting up soil on Windows using Visual Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that, along with a link to our GitHub page, which has the source code from all of the videos in this series. There will also be two more links to pre-made comp page and to the soil page on Bitbucket as well. Again, I recommend using soil too, but the actual code is the same whether you're using soil or soil too. So if you find a tutorial online created by us or somebody else that's maybe using soil one, the soil two library will work as well. And as usual, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and we will see you next time.